This is a nice simulation from the uh, University of Nebraska that uh, is a nice way to think about what's the, the 3D picture that goes with some of the two-dimensional drawings that we're working with in class. Uh, so let me show a little bit how we might use this simulation, uh, the Rotating Sky Explorer, uh, and show a little bit how it connects to the diagrams from class. So uh, here's a page from one of our tutorials, from our first tutorial showing our person standing on the earth and star B and star A showing their paths going around and there's a little bit of difficulty with this diagram trying to picture the three-dimensional motion and trying to figure out uh, where exactly east and west are and things like that so uh, let me slide this over and shrink this window so we can get them side by side So here we have a little person standing on the horizon inside the celestial sphere. And if I just grab this screen and rotate it a little bit, this picture here on the right from the simulation is what we're trying to represent here in the tutorial diagram on the left. Uh, so in the simulation, we see here, uh, if I scroll down in the simulation, I can add labels. So here's our North Celestial Pole, North Celestial Pole in the tutorial diagram. And so here's our person. We've got North on the left side of our picture, same side as the North Celestial Pole, South on the right side, and then 90 degrees uh, clockwise from North is East, over here is West. So from the perspective of our diagram picture, West is here on the front side of the picture, and East would be behind the person, sort of back here uh, behind the page. And we can see that a little bit better in the uh, simulation picture here. Uh, over the left window in the simulation just shows a little dot here showing us where our person is on Earth. So right now we have a person at about 41 degrees north latitude, uh, which is pretty close to where we are in Maryland. So playing with the simulation a little bit more, I'll go down here and I'm going to add a random star and I'll just pick a nice place here to start it so I can see where it is and I'm going to start the animation. So what this is showing is how the star travels around the celestial sphere or I should say travels around us as the celestial sphere rotates. So we should see the star coming up over here a little bit. And you can see it sweeping back south as it travels, as it's now starting to set, it's sweeping back north. Let me go ahead and add a long star trail here. This will show its path a little more clearly. So here it is coming up, and now it's leaving a trail behind it for us to follow. So there it passes just a little bit behind my zenith, a little bit south of the zenith. And we can see that it rose uh, quite a ways up here in the sort of northeast direction is where it crossed our horizon. It sweeps back south as it's going higher in the sky. Passes just a little south of my zenith. And now as it's coming down, sweeps back towards the north. So let me pause this uh, and let me try and get a little more a star that looks like star B in our tutorial diagram. So I'm going to grab this star and just reposition it some. So it's a little bit above the horizon on the north. So this looks like 0.4 in our tutorial diagram and then I can start the animation back up again and we see it following 4 to 1 now it's at 2 coming down now it's at 3 in the simulation passing around uh, so if you recall in class we discussed that when the star was around 0.1 in the tutorial here 
that we said that was uh, a northeast direction. In the simulation, since I can rotate this and really sort of see all the angles, we can see that that's true. Here is north, here is east. When our star is at point one in the diagram here, it's over here in the northeast direction. And again, if I just rotate this, about like that, this is the sort of perspective that is shown in our tutorial diagram. Uh, let me grab this once more and move the star so that it looks like star A in our tutorial and just let that trace around. So here it rows directly east, passes far south of my zenith, and sets directly west. Uh, so this simulation is just nice to see a few different um, perspectives to see the 3D picture a little bit better. You can see the paths traced out like we draw them in the tutorial and can get the east and west direction a little bit better. Uh, other things you can do, you can add a couple of familiar star patterns. So here's the Big Dipper. I can watch that move around that collection of stars. How do they move as the celestial sphere rotates? Uh, the other thing you can do is you can change where on the Earth our observer is. So here I'm just rotating our celestial sphere picture. If I want to change our observer's location, let's say I want to go to the equator, I can go to a latitude of zero now our person, instead of being up here, is down here on the equator. And these are the same two stars that we were looking at a moment ago. But we see that for someone on the equator, someone who has a different horizon, their stars look much different. So here, star A is passing directly through the zenith for our horizon observer. And if we go back to our tutorial picture, here's Earth's equator. So if I were to put a person at the equator here, then right above their head would be point 0.2 on star A. So for our equator person here, when star A is highest, that would be directly above our equator person's head. And that's exactly what we're seeing in the simulation here. So you should take some time. Uh, and play around with this simulation and it's very valuable to do like I'm doing here in the video and have one of our diagrams from class open while you're playing with the simulation and help you make uh, those three-dimensional connections to what we're trying to see in the diagram here.